Riot just released their take on CSGO, and the best way to win is to treat the other team like children. Children of millennial parents who get someone else to raise them because they're busy protesting against processed meat. They'll get something like an iPad, or a nanny. So for this method you're gonna want to pick the nanny character, Cypher. But before we get too technical, you need to learn the basics. What you do is go around the map looking for naughty children who are out of bed and teach them to behave. It's past 7pm, GET BACK TO BED! I DON'T CARE IF YOU'VE GOT A GEOGRAPHY ASSIGNMENT TO YOU, IT'S LIGHTS OUT! Next, we move on to why Cypher is so good at his job. One of his abilities is spy cam. You can put a camera anywhere on the map and check back whenever you like. You're over here doing some research on responsible parenting techniques, see a rascal wandering where he isn't supposed to be on the spy cam, and shoot a harmless tracking dart into his skull. You don't want him getting into your private drawer, save for especially tough days. Clean the house, watch for intruders, do the dishes, do some bird watching, eat some pizza, check that everyone's happily playing. The next ability is Tripwire, used to keep anyone away while you're busy at work. Just put these around the perimeter of my workspace, Got some good materials here. Appropriate tools. Looks like we're gonna be building some sort of- Whoa, Oh, that must be the kids. GET BACK TO YOUR ROOM! NANA'S BUSY! Like I was saying, looks like we're gonna be building some sort of boat. Oh, I just got an amazing quadra kill. Going in for the ace, I was excited to show you guys, then Faker came and stole it. No, look, really. Wait, that actually might be Faker. Oh, it's one of their remote control cars. Ah! Once you've mastered the tripwire, you're ready for the third ability. Stealth. You can hide in a circle of fog and pop out when they're least expecting it. EAT YOUR VEGETABLES! DON'T SIT TOO CLOSE TO THE TV! YOU'LL NEVER AMOUNT TO ANYTHING! Damn, I should get him these toys, they'd love that. I wonder if the price is on this notice board? No. How much is a donkey? Damn, if only I- EXCUSE ME SIR, I'M BUSY! If only I spoke the language. Look, he, he'll take care of your kids, I promise. He even has these cool tricks to entertain. And he looks like this guy who can sing. Everyone loves a lullaby. Finally, his ultimate ability. If he finds a dead enemy, he can reveal the location of every other person on the team. One has to die, but it's a small price to pay for the safety of the rest. Sometimes you won't get your character and you have to pick someone else, but don't cry about it, because then you're the baby. Instead, call in backup support. Brimstone. This scary looking dude surprisingly has some useful oh, nanny skills. Wanna keep a room off limits? Airstrike it! Wanna play the floor is lava? No imagination needed. Now see, the game just represents real life strategies. The shooting enemies in the face is symbolic of gently tucking in a child to sleep, or suggesting kindly that they eat their dinner. I'm not trying to conjure any real violence into the minds of my viewers. PUT THAT ICE CREAM DOWN NOW NATHAN! Obviously, I'm completely against violence against anyone, especially children, and I hope no one gets the wrong idea. I SWEAR TO ME I WILL COUNT TO THREE! Anyway, this guy also has smoke screens, so you can play hide and seek. Wait, who just killed me? No. It can't be. The ultimate gamer, PewDiePie! Well, I can't be mad I lost that one. I'm just happy I played with Faker and PewDiePie in the same day. Valorant? More like you're an ant, because I'm a squash you. This character is especially useful when playing the objective. Now, I know some of you might not understand what those words mean, but there is a bomb that you're meant to plant or defuse, and having tripwire and spy cams all around make it very easy to control the area. Think of it as leaving a bank vault wide open, but once the robber walks in, they're tripped over, pepper sprayed, and their pants pulled down, and the whole thing gets uploaded to YouTube. I did have a nanny analogy written for that already, but I feel like maybe YouTube thinks I've said too many harsh things about kids already in this video. I just use my spy cam, see there are three of them, and go and- oh yeah, it's a bit different. Kids don't have guns. Wait, who knocked over this chair? Insolent fools, you've made me break out my cypher mode. You need to learn some manners. Your parents pay me big money to give you a mediocre upbringing. Ten nice. seconds left. One. I know lots of things. Two. Lots of things. Two and a half. I see everything. Two and three quarters. I've got some children I need to make into corpses. Oh, wow. That's French for you did me. Hold up. I've been playing this game for four hours. I'm supposed to be babysitting.